Hi everyone, welcome to Last Minute Coders. My name is Vinay. I hope you guys are doing well. In this video, we are going to learn how we can make this beautiful auto scrollable carousel and canvas app power app by using a gallery and a timer. So, two control we are going to use that is a gallery and timer, and we are going to implement this beautiful carousel. Now, if you don't know what a carousel is, carousel is a slideshow for cycling through a series of content. Now, let me just show you a flip card site. So you can see the carousel up here so see this image uh, image up here changing right so this is what a carousel is so exactly this is what we are going to implement in canvas app you can see up here i have also implemented this slight transparency effect at the end so fade in fade out effect i have like added here in these images <coughs> so i'll show you how i implemented this and you can also implement them now if you want to upskill yourself in Power App Canvas app and you need training, you can contact me at lastminutescode at gmail.com. So I give one-on-one -on -one training as well. Other services are I give guidance and consultation on projects. So if you are stuck on any business problem, you can interact with me. You can book a session on TopMate. So let me open this link. So this is my TopMate account. You can book any session. The link will be provided in the description. This TopMate account link will be provided in the description. You can book any session like uh, depending on your requirement and I'll surely connect with you. Before starting this video again, if you are new to the channel, I would request you to subscribe to the channel. I would request you to hit that bell icon so you don't miss any upcoming notifications. Like this video if you like the content, share it with your colleagues, share it with your friends. Okay. And I would really appreciate if you give some feedback. Okay. That would, that would be cherry on the top. So let's start this video. okay in the for this video firstly what i'll do is i'll create a blank screen okay <clears throat> so see this is a blank screen what i told you right i told you what we need we need a gallery so i'll type up here we need a gallery and timer control so two things we need okay gallery and timer control for this project only two things i required so what kind of gallery we have so many kinds of gallery right almost like uh, six kind of galleries we have vertical gallery horizontal gallery flexible height gallery and these three are again repeating but they are blank okay so we will utilize this horizontal gallery now you will learn why we are using this just give me a sec <clears throat> let me firstly click on my gallery let me increase its width okay all right uh, this is this is good now if i go to this layout see this layout on the uh, right hand side property section layout and if i click on this drop down see up here what is written carousel right so it is written up here carousel this horizontal gallery is used to make a carousel right so what a carousel is carousel require image or text if you want so we don't want text let me just delete this text so i just need an image <clears throat> now how to increase this See, this is what this is a template size this whole area from here to here is a template size so what i'll do is see the property on the right hand side is template size i'll click on its name once i click on its name you'll see the formula up here so i'll just remove this formula i'll say self dot width now what is self self is gallery itself see uh, this template size is the property of gallery so i have written whatever the width of gallery just take the same width for this template size so you can see the width of my gallery is 1366 here template size is also 1366 okay well and good i'll click on my this image i'll just increase its size all right okay <clears throat> now from where did i where did i got those cars image so for that what i did is I have I have connected one uh, SharePoint list here. Okay, uh, see this table demo list I have connected. If you ha if you don't have any SharePoint list with you, simply go to SharePoint. Okay, just go to SharePoint. Go to your site content, and let me change. First of all, let me go to correct site. Uh, in this site, I'll be working. See up here, LMC Dev. I am here. So here also, I, I need to select the correct site, LMC Dev. So I'll go to site content. <clears throat> here, see, I have this uh, uh, table demo I have with me. Okay. 
so if you if you if you don't know how to create a list very simple just hit on create create list blank list just give the name like table sample don't show in site navigation just hit on create it is that simple as soon as you create it we just need this list okay nothing else don't create any column nothing once like this is created go to data section click on add go to connectors click on sharepoint select your connection if you haven't set up any connection click on add connection okay let's say click on add connection connect cloud directly cloud services just do this as soon as you do this <coughs> uh, your your connection will will be established here okay so let's wait as you can see up here my connection is established now here it is asking me to provide a link uh, you might not see all of these so you have to go to your sharepoint site and just copy this link from the top before this lists okay just copy this path paste this path up here hit on connect you will be connected to this sharepoint site uh, in my case this is lmc dev and the table that i have created is this table sample i'll select this i'll hit on connect <clears throat> that's it it is that simple okay so this, this table sample is now connected here now what i'll do is anyway i told you right we only need like two control but just to show you like uh, how how you can create image kind of database so i'll be creating one form okay and i'll be connecting this form to this table sample see very simple so that i'll get this attachment okay attachment control this attachment control you will not find it here okay <clears throat> so let me just copy this paste it outside okay and now let me just delete see i don't need this form okay i'll delete this form i just needed this uh, this attachment control okay now so you see this error just click on edit formula bar remove these error remove these codes from the top control a backspace and just again click on this see control a backspace uh, there will be four okay so in total there are four so once you like do this done right <coughs> now what <coughs> now what what i want you to do is just play your app attach some file okay in my case my files are here see this images are here i don't know this fourth image is not opening so i'll not select this one uh these four image i'll select okay as soon as i like uh, see up here two five one three so these are all connected up here now what i'll do is <clears throat> i'll click up here and on file add there is one property in this on file add on this attachment control so the name of this attachment control is this data card value let me rename to rename it to attachment control okay so that it will be easier for me to like uh -huh, to like know that this is the attachment control okay on add file i'll create one collection i'll say collect <coughs> I, uh, i'll say collect what so i'll create one collection called coal uh, i'll say images let's let's give the name like images now what what are the items so for items items is what a record or a table to collect so how do we define a record to define a record we need curly braces okay now close the bracket as soon as you do this see there are no error now the first thing that we need is <coughs> the name of the image okay now how do i get the get the name of the image i'll say last i'll say up here last see last and last of what last of this attachment or don't even write last anyways you have to write last anyway you have to write last okay last attachment underscore control dot attachments see close it dot name okay then we have value also so here also write last attachment control dot attachments dot value all right so two thing now how to provide indexing like serial number if you wanted to provide let's say which image is is at which number so serial number for serial number you have to write count rows then call images then close this add one to it that's it okay <clears throat> so three thing three columns we have made for this collection name value serial number let me just select this and you can see up here so this is a record 
right this is one item so every time a new file will be added so this will this will be the data that is going to enter in this cold images collection so let me play the app let me remove this files let me hit on now see attach file let me add one by one okay so you have to like do like this don't select all the files okay just select one file first click on open then click on attach file then again click on second file click on open then again attach file third file open okay a uh, fourth a uh, fifth one open okay so this is how how you will attach <coughs> it has the files up here so see i'll close up here i'll click on this and see this time inside my cool images collection i have like all my images okay and these you see this uh, these images are saving in some blob storage okay so this is the link this is where these images are being saved so the name of the first image is one.jpg and the image is being saved in some blob storage and this is the indexing okay well and good now what now we will click on i'll click on my gallery and for its data source i'll provide the school images i'll click on this image see i click on this image i'll say this item dot value okay this item dot value i'll say okay as soon as i do this i, I am seeing the car up here now let me let me do one thing <clears throat> uh here if i click on my gallery i will disable the show scroll bar i'll enable this show navigation okay so the same way as in your uh, this thing as in your flipkart side you are seeing this right navigation arrows you are seeing so here also we can we can see this navigation arrow okay very simple so just enable now you see this blue line blue dark line is covering this gallery now how to disable this just click on your gallery firstly check does it contain any border no right but see on when this gallery is being focused so its border thickness is changing from 0 to 4 so let's change it back to 0 so this time i'll not see that border okay very well and good now these images have like round border if i don't need those round border i'll click on my image see up i'll go to my properties here see border radius is 8 i'll make it 0 all right now here x is something let let's say my image should be like a start up from 0 and y should also be 0 okay so i'll just increase the size of my image okay so see width is 13 66 x is 0 y is 0 height is something like this okay very well and good <coughs> now let me play this let me click on next so see up here the images are changing right Uh, very well and good but this is a manual process how do i make this dynamic for that for that i need a timer function oh, sorry not function but a control a timer control i need now uh, the the part of this is done so i'll just uh, make this invisible okay the only thing i needed this attachment control is to create one database okay so, this image database anyway what you can do is you can go to like sharepoint click on add column see add one image kind of column this is also you can do uh here see let's let's name this column as <coughs> images okay of type image let me save this here i'll say uh, add a new file a uh, title i'll say just let's give one okay let's add an image so this is how also this is also how we can we can make database okay so let me just save this so see up here image is being added now let me save another image <coughs> okay save so there are plenty of ways you can you can create database okay not that like i have used that uh, uh attachment control and by that i've created collection so you can directly like create your image database in the back end okay because i know i'm going to get uh, get your comment you guys will comment like uh, why you why you have done like that and those images are going when we are refreshing the app so for for those of you guys so i'm i have shown like both the ways okay so see here i've created this uh, four images uh, with a title 1 2 3 4 i'll go to my power apps go to data section firstly i need to refresh the sample see i'll refresh the sample <coughs> so there as i told you there are plenty of ways you can you can like play with this okay 
let me click on my gallery see this uh, where is my gallery I'll click on my gallery see the current data source is this collection images now I can change this to table sample okay anyways this is giving error this will not give error as soon as I like change this if I write this item dot uh, images so see up here again this time my gallery is being connected to this table sample and I am using this images column okay so pretty much simple again the logic is same okay the logic is exactly the same anyways pixels are going down if if I if I'm doing like this so that is why like I, I was using like a collection so it's always a better approach to create a collection first and then then connect that collection here okay it is always a better approach anyway you can you can directly connect uh, connect to this uh, data source table sample okay uh, the every process will be same I'll, I'll just show you by this okay with this table sample so that uh, this will be helpful for you when you are making your project because you will save your images in some database right you will not attach image manually anyway so this is this is done <clears throat> now i have my say this i have my timer function so basically the duration of this timer should be five seconds so every after every five seconds the images should change so i'll write 500 so why i have written 5000 5000 means five second why because here it is in millisecond okay so thousand millisecond is one second so five thousand millisecond is five second now on timer <clears throat> here see what i'll say on timer start on time I start I'll create one variable let's say set where and here say, I'll say ID okay or maybe title here see in back and see this title I've given one two three four right so I'll just add like a I'll just create a variable called title here what see the beauty of this here what what I'll do is let's say when the timer is starting okay when the timer is starting this where title will just add to one okay this where title will just add to one okay see initially the where title will be zero then zero plus one is one so the first image will show up here so here what i need to do in this gallery instead of directly providing like table sample what i'll do is i'll just say filter table sample where my title see this title is equal to is equal to this where index okay and since where index is a number title is a uh, is a string or a text type so i'll just convert type cast this to a text okay so this is how you type cast to a text so see this now this where index is two so see this data type of this where index is number but data type of text where index is text okay say this data type is text so yeah this is this is cool If I click on this this thing so see firstly this image is coming three four five the image will change okay one two three after every five seconds the image will change but you see the transition is so poor like it is it is so poor looking right the transition is so bad and see as soon as it hit last image it is going beyond that it is not starting with the first image so firstly we need to fix this right so this is what I was showing you so I'll go to my timer if I'll say up here if <clears throat> if count rows see if i directly use my data source now count rows give give me some delegation see up here if i directly say table sample uh see uh, if i if i say count rows table sample is uh less than equal uh, less than where title where underscore title then this is fine otherwise set where title to one where underscore title to one okay so see what what is happening here so I am saying see my count rows of table sample is what 
how many how many items i have in my back and four right so the count rows will give me four okay so if my var title is okay here it should be <coughs> <coughs> this sign if this if this count row is greater than var title okay let's say initially our var title uh, will be zero right so zero is not uh, zero is uh, zero is less than this right count rows four four is greater than zero right so then this will run so then our var title will become one next time var title will become two then next time var title will become three and as soon as var title will become four right so four is four is greater than four false right so that time this var title will again become one okay i hope you you guys are able to understand this see this time what will happen if i like click on this so see three four five and the image will change again one two three four five the image will change and see the images are changing right with the help of variable but see this is my last image what will happen at the last time again it will start from the first image right <coughs> so it is it is that simple so this is this is the logic behind like this right so you have to write like if count rows table sample is greater than don't use equal to sign up here okay otherwise the logic will be wrong so if it is greater than var title then do this otherwise do this okay very simple now one more thing if you if you directly use uh, uh, see this if you directly use table sample inside this count rows it will give you an issue okay if it will give you a delegation warning so i told you earlier right it is always better to create collection if you would have created collection and uh, how to create collection for this very simple just click on your screen three see up here go to unvisible property here just write like this clear collect uh, let's say cold sample let and just write like this table sample again the things are just the same okay <clears throat> uh, here see very simple let me just copy this i'll go to screen one come to screen three now double click on this call sample let me see that it contains all the things or not so see it contains one two three four record and it contains yeah it contains all the data right <clears throat> uh, well and good so here in place of see this i'll click on my gallery i'll go to its data source in place of this table sample i can use this call sample very simple i can i can use this right and it will it will give me no error let me just copy this name i'll go up here and in place of this time i'll if i'll use this call sample see the error is gone right that delegation warning is gone so it is always better to write a screen three on visible property i have written this code clear collect i have created one collection and this is how you create a collection so if you use collection you will you won't get a delegation warning okay <clears throat> so a uh, very simple right so this is this is done right so the part here is the now what we need is we need a transition kind of effect okay anyways we have implemented this changing of gallery we have implemented but now we need transition we need a smooth transition now how do we how will we implement this so see this inside gallery i have this image i'll click on my image i have one property called transparency so see this transparency zero means uh, there is no transparency one means 100 percent transparency see 0.5 means 50% transparency, 0.2 means 20%, 10%, 40%, 50%, 60%, 70%, 80%, 90%, and 1 means 100%. Okay. So 1 is uh, completely invisible, 0 means completely visible. Okay. So 0 to 1, the value of transparency lies between 0 to 1. Okay. So we will play with this transparency and see one more thing. Let me just create one label and let me just show you guys like see when i when i play this timer right and if i write up here timer my timer name is this timer 2 right timer 2 dot and if i write up here timer 2 dot value something like this if i do like this okay let me play this and if i click on this see up here this value is dynamically increasing right so i can use this dynamic value okay i can use this dynamic value timer to value i can use this right so i'll use this timer to value <clears throat> and see what i'll do with this if i divide this timer to with timer two dot duration okay so see up here what will happen this time so it will always range between zero and one 
see up here it, it is always ranging between 0 and 1 see so isn't can I can I use this property can I use this in my transparency yeah I can use this of my image transparency I can use this property but see the problem with this is if I directly use this and if I play my app see what will happen see this uh, this is also like ugly right the image is again taking time and yeah it is it is giving me that tra transparency kind of effect but again it, this is not really good right so how did I achieve this amazing transition in this in this page if you will see how did I achieve this amazing transition right see up here so for this we will use one code so I have I have designed this code so just uh, just look into this code right I'll click on my image <clears throat> I'll go to transparency uh, this is all well and good but here see what I'll write I'll say if timer one dot value okay is less than equal to timer one dot duration multiply point two that means twenty percent of my five second point two means twenty percent of my five second so if my timer value is less than twenty percent of my so see twenty percent of my time I'll give a fade in effect fade in effect okay so this is for fade in effect okay oh my god this is for fade in effect okay so this this code is for fade in effect if timer dot timer one dot value is less than equal to timer one dot duration duration is five thousand five thousand two percent so let me open a calculator calculator so if, if i write something like this five thousand multiply point two so this is nothing but thousand okay so for one second that image will load for fade in effect for one second okay this is what it means so one second fade in effect here is a fade in effect for one second i'll say <clears throat> okay so this is how now after this comma what i need to provide is i'll say timer see up here now carefully see timer one dot duration I know this code can be complex it took me some time to design this code as well into 2 minus timer 1 dot value divided by see this divided by timer timer 1 dot duration multiply 0.2 and that's it now wherever you have written this multiply right always always keep this inside double quote okay uh, so that it will follow the proper board mass rule okay so yeah I'll keep this inside the C I'll keep this inside quote and here what I'll do is I'll just simply close the close the bracket I'll remove this one right so this time I am saying for first one second give me that fade in effect so I'll play my app if I will click on this and let's let's wait uh, something might have went wrong so let's let's check okay here see what what timer I'm using I'm using timer one man the timer here is two right so I have to use timer two that is the issue let me use timer two so sorry about this uh, for the first screen I have created the timer one right so here, here I have to use timer two so that that was the issue okay see up here for every image you will see that fade in kind of effect okay see fade in kind of effect you are seeing that fade in kind of effect so this is this is what a fade in kind of effect is now what what I need to provide is fade out kind of effect also right so the fade in kind of effect is this one right if I use this condition so for this fade in effect and this is the value that I am providing so I am saying time duration dot 2 that is 20% of my time duration subtracted with the time value and divided by time so you can just calculate this right or you can directly use this formula if you don't want to waste your time directly use this formula okay so it took me some time to like design this formula it uh, these things take time okay you have to use a pen and paper and design these formulas okay here I'll say this thing timer 2 dot value is say this this time I'll say greater than equal here I've used see less than equal to right but at the if I need for the end I'll say greater than equal to and see timer 2 dot duration I'll say when like 80% of my thing is done right 
एटी परसेंट हाउ डू आई गिव एटी परसेंट वन माई एटी इट इज बियॉन्ड लाइक एटी परसेंट सो देन देन द फेड आउट इफेक्ट शुड कम राइट सो हेयर एल से फेड आउट इफेक्ट फॉर वन सेकेंड सो दिस विल दिस विल गिव फेड आउट इफेक्ट ओके फॉर वन सेकेंड दिस थिंग विल गिव फेड आउट इफेक्ट फॉर वन सेकेंड ओके so point if you subtract one by point eight so that will be point two only okay here I am saying this greater than if it is greater than this thing so what will be greater than point eight two one so point eight point one something point eight point nine some point eight point two something point eight point three like this right till one so here see what what I'll do is I'll say timer one dot value value minus timer one dot duration okay then i'll multiply this by point 0.8 see see this very carefully okay and then i'll divide it by timer okay again i am writing timer one see this this thing should be timer two okay uh, divided by timer two dot two dot value multiply point two okay so it is this is like very amazing formula okay so see the uh, this will give you like that fade out kind of effect okay again i'm telling you it took me some time to like design this formula so and you you guys can directly use this okay you don't have to worry so you can uh, it took me some time to design this formula so to give fade fade out kind of effect this is the condition to give fade in kind of effect this is the condition and this is the code that you have to use you can use pen and paper you can use calculator like how these values are calculating see basically what i am doing is <clears throat> when i am giving fade out right so fade out should be the value should be visible first so it should start from 0 and it should go to 1 and here it should start from 0 and it should go to sorry it should start from 1 and it should go to 0 so fade in for fade in transparency is going from 1 that is invisible to zero and for fade out it is going from zero to one okay it, this is what what it is happening up here okay so see this time if i play the app if i click on this <coughs> and see so the fade out fade in effect is there right fade out fade in effect fade out fade in effect little bit yeah see up here so this is this is pretty much it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it and if you did don't forget to like subscribe the channel like this video share it with your friends and i would appreciate your comments again if you need training you can contact me at lastminutescode@gmail.com so thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one till then take care goodbye